Hi, I'm Nick with Miners Leisure World in Weyburn, Saskatchewan, and going to show you the 2021 Nexus Class C 24P motorhome that we've just got in. We're pretty excited about this product. For us, it's brand new on the market for us, and I'm not even sure where else in, in the country you can obtain them, but they're pretty nifty. So we'll go through it very quickly, and then I want you to phone us and ask any questions on it, just in case I miss a few things. Anyway, it's a V8. 405 horsepower engine. It's on a 350 Ford 350 chassis. Some of the things that we've got on it are we've got a backup camera and side view cameras as well. Something to check it out is the neat fiberglass front and it's wrapped right around so that there's no way that moisture can get into the nose cone. So many fat manufacturers have the, the seams right on the edge like this and with this, with the Nexus, they've just wrapped it around so that the wind and the rain does not get inside the, the coach at all. On the sidewalls, the sidewalls are vacuum bonded, so it's the strongest bond in the, the laminated industry where, in layman's terms, how it works is that they put the, the, the substrates all together and they run it through a press and they suck all the air out so that there's no air pockets inside so it makes a very strong bond. The other thing that this has, it doesn't have any wood. It's made from Asdel. It has an Asdel substrate inside that uh, does away with the wood so there's no rotting, uh, no moisture getting in there. It's moisture that can actually uh, pull the, the laminate apart. This coach has the automotive style windows, the frameless windows, which I feel are really actually more uh, more advantageous to you because when you do have this parked and you want to open up the window it opens up like an awning so that even if rain is coming down you're not going to have rain come into your coach but then it also has a better seal. Propane tank built right in 40 pounder for you has storage for a small coach again 25 feet long is what this is from front to back and it goes right through this other side not not super deep but you can still store things whereas most coaches don't have anything for you power awning with lights in it. On the back of the coach, this is also laminated, so it's all solid. And so many of the RVs in general just hang the background in here so that it has some movement to it. This is solid right on through and on steel structure inside, framing. You'll see also the eyebrow up top there that has the fiberglass molded back end, which houses the, uh, the backup camera, but on top, it's a fiberglass roof where there's no seams in it. The only openings on that fiberglass roof are where they have to cut out for vents or for, for the air conditioner. As you go underneath this slide out, you'll see on the back a place for storage of the cords. You'll see all the tanks so that you can easy access to them. Underneath here as well is the 4,000 pound or 4,000 watt uh, Onan generator built in. Another storage where this is where the battery is stored and there's two 12 volts in tandem for you. Mirror on this side also is a breakaway so if you did happen to hit something it's going to just push back out of the way and it's not going to cause you more insurance costs for you. Let's go inside and have a look at it. Inside the 24P, and that's where it gets really unique, especially for this coach because it's got so much space inside when, with the big slide out going out. And again, it's such a small Class C motorhome. Right inside you have the kitchen as soon as you step in and then right next to the driver's cockpit. We'll talk about that in a few seconds. But above that, bed, or this will just move right out of the way so that you can just be storing stuff above it. It also has a television that can move around so you can watch it from the table. In the kitchen, pretty nice counter space, again for a small coach. Stainless steel undermounted sink with the cover that protects it nice. And one thing that you're going to love to see are the, the cabinetries and how they're built. Feels like wood and it's also all undermounted hinges or hidden hinges. They're very residential style. Large microwave, three burner stove with an oven, right beside the residential fridge. It's 11 cubic foot and comes with the inverter as well. So you're not running off of propane and using up propane while you're traveling. You can just keep running this all the time. Again, you can see the space in here already and into the bedroom with that slide out it gives you so much room here but you can get all the way around it's a walk around bed 
60 by 74 blinds on there that are the pull down type and check out the closets so deep closet you can have that for a se separate bedroom for grandkids that come along with you and then also the full extension drawers that are on roller bearings that don't fall out while you're traveling and drawers even below and places to set stuff which people are always looking for in the dinette booth again nice space nice cushy seats with the seat belts so that if you are traveling with another couple or a few other people they can be sitting back here and be safe the tabletop is is on a composite as well cup holders which everything is you always need that and then the the good blinds that just slide up there and of course the windows open up like the awning style that I was talking about earlier. This can lay down into a bed if you wanted to, but you've got beds up above the, co the, the cabin. You've got bed here and then you've got bed there. You don't want to take that many people with you. And in the bathroom, it's got vanity below. It's got the sink top with lots of space that you can put your toothbrush if you want. You've got medicine cabinet, porcelain toilet, and also the wide shower. Okay, and in the cockpit, there is actually a fair amount of room here that you can still swing around, get up and grab a Coke if out of the fridge if you wanted to while you're, tra while you're traveling. Stop the vehicle before you do that, however. And I want you to see what the, ca the backup camera looks like as well. Okay, with the backup camera, once you start it and you put it into reverse, the, the camera comes on. As you can see, we've got uh, one of our detailers out there waving at us. And then I've also put it on the signal lights on the left and the right that you can see. That's what, uh, when you are changing lanes on the highway, you can see what's right beside you so that you don't run over somebody. All right, well, that's a very, 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 very sneak preview of the, the Nexus 24P. And again, we certainly encourage you to have come and have a look at it with us. If you, or even if you are locked at home for a while, give us a call. We'll even do another walk around with you uh, on FaceTime or something to that effect. Something I never mentioned when we were outside was, uh, was it does have a hitch on the back that uh, you can tow your vehicle with you because most people do like to take their vehicles with them when they when they travel and it's a 5,000 pound hitch so it's it's built heavy duty for you so you can uh, take take your toys with you things to remember about this number one is the structure of it it's a very strong steel alloy built structure uh, vacuum bonded walls as opposed to uh, strictly hanging the fiberglass on there. Fiberglass roof. Most of them have the rubber roof on top. This is even better because it's a solid piece fiberglass up on top there and you can stand up there with no issues and be servicing. Uh, we've put on there the backup camera as well as the side cameras. Biggest thing when you're having with the motorhome because you're going to get on the highway and go traveling with this uh, you're going to want to have service avail availability for anything that goes wrong because that sort of thing happens with motor with any movable parts. As soon as you are a, a customer of Miner's Leisure World, you're also an automatic RV Care member. RV Care businesses are across the nation, across the United States, and so where you're traveling, if you do have some issues, you've got priority service as, at our RV Care businesses. That's part of being a Miner's customer. With that, I'm Nick Korlick. Watch for us in Weyburn as well as Watrous. Check out our website for all our, our products that we have available. Give us a call as well.